Hey everyone, we have another CMake video for you today. This one's going to be a little bit different. This is actually a video representation of a question that I was asked on my add compile definitions. And that question basically was, why don't we just use add definitions? So let's address that. And the main reason I gave in my response in the comment was it's been superseded and I linked to this page. But let's delve into that a little bit more. Why was it superseded? And what are its replacements? Well, the replacements are shown here. And when we look at the replacements, we can see why it was actually superseded. So add compile definitions is what I talked about in that last video. And when you want to declare a variable, all you have to do is state its name. And if you want it to be defined with an actual value, you just include this equal sign in there. And we stepped through some code examples showing that it really does indeed work and that it will work with your compiler. And uh, I haven't actually watched that video in a while. We might have talked about what it does behind the scenes a little bit. With add definitions, you can see that you specifically are doing more of the behind the scenes work. Now, if you've compiled with GCC or G++ or Clang, or I think it's called C++ actually, on the Clang version side of it, but the dash D means essentially define. I want you to define something so that it's available in the program. You can use dash I for including directories, and then you can do dash W for warnings and things like that and other flags. However, if you're using Microsoft's compiler, its way of setting things is different. So the benefit of using some of these other newer functions is you can just define this, and if they have Microsoft's compiler, it'll just work out of the box. Or if you're using another compiler that has different command line syntax. This add definitions, essentially what it would do is just drop this entire string into the command line. Uh, I mean, that's, that's sort of true. It would run through either make or ninja or something else. But if you want to picture what you're doing, essentially what you're doing was writing out the command line for it where these other ones are less specific towards the compiler. Now, include directories, again, you don't have to include the dash i. It's um, a lot more legible, I would like to say. So there's obviously these perks. Now, when you get to the add compile options, again, you have to be a little bit more careful because you can even see in the example here, if you're using Microsoft's compiler, you'd use something like slash w4 Whereas if you're using a different compiler, you would use warn all, warn extra, pedantic, so on and so forth. This is actually GCC's. If I recall correctly, Clang would be warn everything. So W everything. Um, but uh, that that's basically the difference. So that is why uh, we don't use add definitions anymore. But if you're working with a project and you do see it, this is the way that it actually works. Um, so hopefully this information was helpful for you. I hope to see you in future videos and um, just keep on writing awesome code and we'll see you next time.